Hey guys, Neil here. So, I have come here to tell you some stories. Okay? About the things that happened today. They're not too crazy, they're just outrageous. Anyway, I go to a charter school where they give me the work that I do at home. And I have these workshop classes on Wednesdays and Fridays. So, the first one is that last Friday, I did, I thought that the class was tolerant of vulgarity. I don't know why I was saying vulgar things, I guess, to be funny. I said condom in class a few times. First time he just said it was gross. The second time he said it was an appropriate teacher. I didn't know that 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 it was, it was he didn't tell me the first time. I don't know. So I was kicked out of that class without any warning, you know. Well, it was either I get kicked out or my mom has to sit next to me. The same thing. I say anything. Yeah. Okay. And that that that's not outrageous right. because it actually happened. Apparently, I was also passing inappropriate notes. And I guess the teacher just didn't like me or something because that never happened. He just lied about that part. <sighs> so if you're watching Mr. Whatever Your Name Is, I don't like you very much. Okay, next one. It's going to be the last one. So today... I had a game design class. We were playing these games. It was like a whack-a-mole type game. You click on things, it increases your score. I made a whack a try hard game where it was try hard and an angry person going around the screen. You had to whack them to get points. Anyway, so while I was doing that, a kid Dylan sitting next to me, um, he likes playing really loud noises in class from Scratch, which is the platform we use. And anyway, we had headphones in. So he had like a really loud horse neigh and he made me listen to it with the headphones. And of course it was super loud, so I took off the headphones. But the the noise was still, still you could hear it just coming out of the headphones. And then of course the teacher, Chris, had me sit somewhere else. At first I thought it was Dylan who had to sit somewhere else, but it was actually me. Even though he was, you know, whatever. So I sat there, I did the thing, and then in the middle, I was bored, I already finished. So I really quickly went out of the class, got some things, got gum and the candy bar from the vending machine, came back. Um, and I just, I just, the rest of the class, I was just hanging out. And then the teacher totally caught me off guard. Chris, he said, where's your computer? And then I was try running over to get I was like, I was caught off guard. So, yeah, I was like scrambling over. I was like squirming on my chair. I don't know. And then I fell on the ground, got hurt a little. He asked if I was okay. I was fine. And then I went over and got the computer. And he said, uh, oh, go and prove the thing. Even though I mostly just listened to the screech sound effect, just made it louder and reversed and echoed and stuff, because he could do that in Scratch. So that's it. That I know these weren't that interesting, I guess, but they were they were something, I guess. Actually, I have one more story. This happened on my 12th birthday. I'll probably do like these kind of story videos. This happened on my 12th birthday. So we went to the beach. We were going to go camping there. You'll find out why we didn't spend the night there later. So there's this girl named Cheyenne. I kind of liked her. Yada, yada, yada. Hip hop. One thing led to another. I said I had feelings for her because I'm stupid. And then the dad apparently was 
like, drunk, or he was one of my classmates who was mad that I won the spelling bee earlier. And he was like, you better stay away from my daughter or I will murder you. And I was terrified. It was a lot scarier than the way I depicted it. Because it actually happened to me. I was terrified. I didn't even feel safe there. We had to go home. And it was probably the most scared I've ever been. That was... Because earlier, there was wind. There was wind blowing. Really strong. And Aiden is he my brother he was in the tent and then the tent was like flying across he was screaming and there was crackling noises i heard so i thought he the tent caught fire i was terrified and then the guys went and threatened me and it was terrifying so then we went ahead and went back home and that's it Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.